We got a question from our buddy Christy. He uh, he has a hard time starting and, and maintaining conversations with new people, and obviously that can be a detriment to our world. You know, if he he wants to meet women, he wants to make friends. He's 16 years old. He's having a difficult time approaching or maintaining a conversation with someone without it turning awkward because we all know how that starts you know two people come together and it, it seems as if well you know we're, go we're about to engage and then it just quickly it turns very awkward um, I gotta completely be honest with you I have a tendency to to get into those awkward situations quite often and it's because and this is my problem not yours I'm going to share a solution for you as well I'm very up in my head a lot of times and, and people are kind of distractions I'm busy you know, so I'm either on my way to doing something, thinking about doing something, and then here comes someone. And my challenge is really just to slow down and afford people a piece of my time. I'm, you know, the, the thing is that I'm a bit greedy with my time, greedy with myself. So the situation is that I now have to, me personally, I have to calm down and employ the tools and techniques of conversation and mindful communication that I'm going to share with you now. It's been said that he who asks the most questions rules the conversation. If you want to engage in conversation with someone, the very first thing is, what is the sentiment from which it proceeds? That basically means, what is your objective here? If your objective here is to get something, to do something, like me, it's always like, I'm always moving forward, I need to calm down. But for you, if it's, I just want to, I genuinely just want to create a relationship with someone. I generally want some friends. I genu genuinely would like to speak to this woman and move forward in, in some sort of relationship. If you come from a genuine place, this is going to be far easier than if employing as, as, a, as a technique. But as a technique, it will help you also. Ask as many questions as you can to that individual. Find out where their hot buttons are, the things that really get them excited. Most conversations start out like, uh, you know, what do you think of the Rays? I live in Tampa Bay. Oh, what do you think about the Rays? Oh, they lost this weekend, blah, blah, blah. Or what kind of work do you do? And most of the time it's very superficial, very uh, on the surface, about the weather and crap like that, which, you know, it's fun, but really, and for me, again, it's like mindless bullshit conversation just irritates me. Dive in. If you ask someone one question and they give you kind of a surface answer, follow, follow up with, well, how did you, for example, if it's, uh, what kind of work do you do? Oh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an accountant. Well, wow, interesting. How did you get into that? Ah, do you see? Now you're starting to take it one step further in that particular direction. Whenever you ask someone what they do, follow up again, listen closely, follow up again with, well, how'd you get into that? And then they'll tell you, you know, blah, 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 you know, situation. My dad was an accountant and, you know, he taught me when I was a kid. I used to work for him. Oh, that's fascinating. Your dad was an accountant. Did he work for someone and started his own business? Oh, my dad owned his own, own business. In fact, you know, he, uh, he, he hired me. My first job was with my dad. Oh, that's really cool. So you work with your own family. How is that work? You know, how is it working with your own family? Oh, man, you know, the, the truth is me and my sister. Do you see? Do you see where I'm going with this? You start taking it a little bit deeper and you get closer and closer to the individual and you listen intently and move from a place of genuine interest in that individual. The more interested you are in that individual, the more they soften, the more they yield, the more they open up to you, right? Because they feel like, what, this person's safe, this person genuinely cares, is asking me questions far more than the norm. And, and you don't want to be like a, a stabber, you know? You got some people that are just like, they're interrogating you. You, you, you've got to be sensitive, and this requires practice. You've got to be sensitive to where the conversation is going and sort of be the leader of it by asking more questions. Refrain from telling too many stories about yourself. Refrain from talking about yourself and your own aspirations too much. If that person turns it around on you and starts asking you questions, well, that's cool. Now you're dancing. Most people don't know how to fucking dance. Now you're dancing. I'm giving you a little bit, you're giving me a little bit. And really, it's that rhythm that creates a fun conversation, right? He, uh, he who asks questions rules the conversation and show genuine interest in what that other person is, say, is asking, uh, uh, is telling you about. Ask them more questions. Listen intently. A little trick, you know, this is... This is a tip, it's a technique, it's a tool, so it's not genuine, but if you practice it, it ultimately may become genuine. If someone says something 
and you don't necessarily have something to say right away, act like you're thinking, right? This is a little evil, right? I'm giving you a little evil tip. But you'll see how effective it is in, in, in having that person want to continue being with you. Go like this. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Right? It just lets that person feel confident that you're actually thinking about what they're talking about. Especially if they've got like a deep question that they asked you. You know, what do you think I should do about this, Bob? Hmm, that's a really interesting question. Pause for a moment. Pausing is very powerful in conversation. A lot of times we're so hysterical, we're so ungrounded, we're so focused on and anxious on moving this conversation forward that we don't pause enough. It makes us feel awkward, you know, they say that awkward pause. Pause for a moment. Hmm. That person's gonna be standing on their toes waiting to see what's gonna come out of your mouth next. You're in control of the conversation. So there you have it. I often talk about being as opposed to doing, but sometimes doing things supports you in your ability to become something. These are tools, techniques, tricks, right? that you're using to ultimately develop the character associated with someone who knows how to have long, healthy, useful conversations and make more friends. Good luck.